So, good morning and welcome back to NPTEL lecture series on classics in total synthesis. Uh, we have been talking about uh, quite a few total synthesis of triquinines and today also we will continue and complete discussion on more total synthesis of triquinines. Uh, today we will start with our homegrown total synthesis where uh, we discuss total synthesis of 3 triquinines, uh, actually 2 triquinines and one having a diquinine moiety reported by none other than Professor Godan Mehta. And, uh, First let us start with uh, a known molecule uh, hirsutine and how uh, his group has synthesized this molecule. Uh, he has used a unique uh, reaction, uh, now we all know what is metathesis, ring closing metathesis, enide metathesis, uh, ring opening, ring closing metathesis all. But in 80s, but that to early 80s, uh, he is the one who introduced the term thermal metathesis. So, where you know it undergoes a retro 2 plus 2 under very high temperature one can even call it a flash vacuum pyrolysis to get uh, triquinates. So, that is a key reaction in many of his total synthesis of triquinates and related uh, natural products. So, let us see how uh, he did a retro synthesis of this hercetine molecule as you know when you have a, a double bond and the double bond can be obtained from alcohol via oxidation and Wittig reaction. And this can be obtained from this keto intermediate, uh, this keto intermediate is required which we will come to know when we talk about the synthesis. So, you can remove the carbonyl group uh, in 2 to 3 steps and at the same time after doing that you can remove the mom group to get the hydroxyl and this can be obtained from the diketone. So, you can see there are 2 carbonyl groups and one is uh, you know highly uh, sterically hindered position. So, he, one can easily manipulate the other ketone. So, that is what you have seen in this retrosynthetic uh, disconnection and this can be obtained from cyclopentadiene. Okay. So, this is uh, so well known, but I will come to that uh, how he has done. So, it involves uh, 5 steps to come to the triquinine moiety. Uh, first step is 4 plus 2 cycloaddition between cyclopentadiene and 1, 4 benzoquinone to get this bicyclic tricyclic compound. And this tricyclic compound, uh, if, you, if you redraw like this, now you can see this double bond and this double bond, they are close to each other. And this upon photochemical reaction can undergo an intramolecular 2 plus 2 photocycloaddition to give this highly strained compound. Okay. Basically, if you look at this in 2 steps, one can get this highly strained compound. So, this is uh, this was reported by Cookson. So, it is called Cookson's dione. But what is important was uh, Mehta's group used uh, this Cookson dione for a very important transformation as I already mentioned called thermal metathesis. This upon flash vacuum pyrolysis if you heat it at 600 degrees this undergoes a retro 2 plus 2. So, if you do like this you will get this tricyclic diene diode, tricyclic diene diode. This you can also write for better understanding, better visualization uh, you can write like this. Clearly, from cyclopentadiene and benzoquinone, one can get this linear triquinine, okay, linear triquinine core structure basically in 3 steps. So, what are the key reactions and what are the key takeaway from this whole sequence? One, as I said, so first time the thermal metathesis was used to get this tricyclic compound. Two, People often talk about uh, atom economy, okay, this is a buzzword in the last two decades. If you look at the whole transformation, you started with 5 plus 6, 6 carbons and you can see in the product you have this same 5 plus 6, 11 carbon atoms, all the hydrogen atoms, all the oxygen atoms, all are retained. So, it is a 100 percent atom economy reaction over 3 steps. So, this is a second beauty of this whole sequence 
which is group exploited uh, in the total synthesis of many natural products. Now let us see how this core structure was taken further for the completion of total synthesis of hirsutine. Okay. So that was the key step. So instead of benzoquinone, if you use 25 okay, 2, 5 dimethyl benzoquinone, you will get this tricyclic intermediate. This upon intramolecular 2 plus 2 cycloaddition with under photochemical condition will give you this strained compound. Okay. Then you do the flash vacuum pyrolysis, you get this tricyclic compound where compared to the triquinine which we discussed in the previous slide, we have two methyl groups in addition. One is angular methyl group, other one is attached to an sp2 carbon. Okay. So, how he took this intermediate to the final compound hirsutine. Okay. So, you take this diene dione and heat it. Okay. Basically, what he wants was these two hydrogens should be alpha. Okay. So, he could do this using thermal condition when you heat it the double bond migrates okay. and if further heating it isomerizes to this more stable triquinine because this is what he wants. So, by heating it for long time you could convert this into this tricyclic compound. Okay. This tricyclic compound he took it and then reduced both the double bonds. Okay. You have two double bonds and both the double bonds are reduced to get the corresponding diketone. Next, he wanted to introduce one more methyl group here. If you look at hirsutine, you have a dimethyl group at that carbon. So, he wanted to introduce one more methyl group. Obviously, if you see there is a another ketone and then next to that a CH2, there also one can do the deprotonation. So, what he did, he treated with potassium tertiary butoxide okay, and quenched with methyl iodide. So, he could introduce the one more methyl to get the gem dimethyl group, but he got only 50 percent yield which is understandable because one can also methylate at this carbon. Nevertheless, you could successfully isolate 50 percent of the required product where you have the gem dimethyl group. After having this diketone, next as you know you need to remove this carbonyl group. But between these two carbonyl groups, this carbonyl group is more reactive because that is less sterically hindered compared to the other ketone. So, what one can do? you can protect that. So, protection is done through reduction. So, first you reduce the carbonyl, the left hand side 5 membered ring carbonyl to alcohol, then protect that alcohol as mom ether using Hunix base, you get the corresponding mom ether. Now, you have to remove the carbonyl group. How do you remove the carbonyl group? There are many methods, but he chose a 3 step protocol where you reduce the ketone with LH to get the alcohol, then that alcohol was converted into xandate. Okay, you treat with sodium hydride and quench with carbon disulfide and methyl iodide, you get the corresponding xandate. That xandate you treat with tributyltin hydride AABN, you remove the oxygen. So, the right hand side 5 membered ring is fine, the middle 5 membered ring is fine. Now, what he has to do? is to remove the protecting group, oxidize the alcohol and do the Vitti to complete the total synthesis of hirsutine. So, the mom group was removed uh, under acidic condition to get the corresponding secondary alcohol. The secondary alcohol was oxidized with PCC to get the ketone, then simple methyl Vitti gave the final natural product that is hirsutine. So, if you look at this synthesis, overall the key step was the photothermal metathetic sequence. So, this sequence also as I mentioned is one of the earliest 100 percent atom economy reaction. And the starting material of course, uh, the tricyclic compound was prepared from cyclopentadiene and uh, 2, 5 dimethyl para benzoquinone using Diels-Alder cyclo cycloaddition reaction. Overall, this group took 12 longest linear steps to complete the total synthesis of hirsutine and the yield was about 13 percent. 
So, 13 percent yield for this molecule is quite competitive and that is mainly because of the atom economy, 100 percent atom economy reaction. So, now we will move to another natural product which is not a triquinin, but it has a diquinin substructure plus one six member ring and another six member ring having a heteroatom. So, this molecule is called deoxymagalininone. Okay, you can see there are two five member rings and one six member ring and another six member ring which we can call it as N methyl piperidine. Okay. So, since we are talking about triquinines, I just want to extend that method which Professor Mehta has used. I want to discuss the extension of Professor Mehta's methodology to synthesize such molecules. So, this was uh, the first total synthesis uh, reported by uh, Professor Mehta and in addition to in addition to the standard metathesis thermal metathesis reaction, he has also used an intramolecular Michael addition reaction as the key reaction to construct this six number ring. Okay, let us see how he has uh, done this. Uh, first let us look at the retrosynthetic analysis. So, this molecule uh, as you know you can easily obtain from this diketone. So, if we look at the diketone between 5 membered and 6 membered, 6 membered is a little bit more reactive. So, you can do a Wittig on this ketone followed by isomerization you will get the natural product. And this diketone if you look at carefully it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is a 1, 5 diketone. So, whenever you see a 1, 5 diketone in a natural product immediately the Michael reaction should come to your mind. So, obviously, the precursor for this could be the corresponding diketone. So, if you remove this and if you have double bond then it can generate anion and it can undergo Michael addition. At the same time the other side 6 member ring if you see that is N methyl piperidine if you ozonalize this double bond if you cleave that double bond and if you get a dialdehyde then one can think about reductive methylation on this dialdehyde or you can reduce that aldehyde to alcohol convert that into leaving group then treatment with methylamine one can get this compound. And this compound can be obtained from here if you convert this into a methyl ketone ok normally this is done using Wacker process. So, the terminal double bond can be selectively oxidized under Wacker process to get the corresponding methyl ketone and that methyl ketone can undergo intramolecular Michael addition reaction. And this of course, can be obtained from this tricyclic compound where you have an enone and one can think about using another Michael addition to introduce this 4 carbon unit. And this of course, can be obtained from cyclopentadiene and benzocuno. So, that is why I thought I should discuss this if you look at this whole synthesis it also goes through the triquinin point. Okay. So, this compound we already discussed is not it this is obtained from cyclopentadiene para benzocuinone 4 plus 2 cycloaddition followed by 2 plus 2 cycloaddition you get this compound. Now, you do pyrolysis you will get the triquinin, but you if you look at the previous example one side you do not have the ketone. So, you have to remove one of the carbonyl groups and that is best achieved at this stage. So, this is symmetrical diketone. So, one of the carbonyl groups is protected as ketol, then the other carbonyl is reduced to get the corresponding alcohol and basically you have to deoxygenate ok the carbonyl group the keto group should be removed. So, it went through three steps reduction followed by conversion of the hydroxyl group into bromide and that bromide during the conversion of hydroxyl group into bromide under HBr condition not only the hydroxyl group was converted into bromide. So, using a SN2 right reaction the ketol also got clean because you are using acidic condition. Okay. So, again he has to protect the ketone as ketol 
then remove the bromide under reductive condition that is uh, metal ammonia condition to remove the bromide. So, now you have this remove the ketal to get the ketone then flash vacuum pyrolysis at high temperature you get this compound and if you look at this this is dienone ok. Normally you get a ketone one more ketone here that ketone was selectively removed using this process. So, once you have that then the double bond should be migrated see basically what you need is this double bond has to come here. So, that was best achieved by reflexing or heating in benzyl benzoate at 300 degrees the double bond could be successfully migrated to another alpha beta unsaturated ketone, but this time the double bond is tetra substituted this double bond if you look at this is tetra substituted whereas here it is di substituted. Next step is the key 1 4 addition. So, that was done using uh, 4 butyl magnesium bromide and coplas bromide dimethyl sulfide complex. So, that added this 4 carbon unit and as I said this once you do this next step is the conversion of the terminal olefin to methyl ketone which is normally done using Wacker process, but before doing that you have to introduce a double bond here is not it. Then only the Wacker process uh, will give methyl ketone and then that, that methyl ketone can undergo intramolecular Michael reaction. So, the double bond was introduced in the st following standard protocol first LDA phenyl selenide chloride you introduce a phenyl seleno group at this carbon and then oxidation to phenyl selenide phenyl seleno oxide and el elimination of phenyl seleno oxide gives that double bond. Then you carry out the Wacker, Wacker process to get the corresponding methyl ketone this on treatment with sodium hydride it generates anion and then undergoes a Michael reaction to give this tricyclic compound ok. Having got that next this 5 membered ring should be converted into the 6 membered ring with heteroatom that is the heteroatom is nitrogen. And in order to do that you need to ozonolysis or you need to dihydroxylate and then cleave with sodium pyruvate. Before that one has to protect these two carbonyl groups. So, that was the first step protect those two ketones as ketal then you do ozonolysis of the double bond to get aldehyde in situ you reduce that aldehyde you get the diol the diol was treated with methyl chloride to get the dimethylate. So, basically what you are doing is you are converting the hydroxyl group into better leaving group this upon treatment with methylamine if you reflect with methylamine it will undergo 2 SN2 displacement to get this compound ok. So, now what is required you have to remove both the ketal you have to remove both the ketal to get the diketone yes that was done you under acidic condition. Then selectively you have to do Wittig reaction on the 6 membered ring in the presence of uh, 5 membered ring yes you can do that and basically the exocyclic double bond has to be isomerized and that was done by treating with paratolibin sulfonic acid. So, though this is not a triquinane, but if you look at the total synthesis it went through triquinane and though that triquinane also was obtained through a thermal metathesis which was developed by Professor Mehta's group. So, the synthesis was reported in 1990 and uh, the starting material as you know it is a cyclopentadiene and uh, benzoquinone and the key step is also uh, intramolecular Michael addition to get this deoxy magellinone. Overall it took 11 longest linear steps and yield was little lower, but considering the complexity of the molecule 2 percent overall yield is really good and this way he could successfully extend the methodology developed in his laboratory to extend his methodology not only to triquinine, but also to other natural products having a diquinine as a substructure ok. The two natural products which we discuss reported by uh, Osmeta's group they are racemic. The third synthesis which is about uh, total synthesis of uh, another triquinine 
is a chiral approach where he started with a chiral starting material called limone and the natural product which he synthesized is serotopic now. Okay. This was isolated in 1988 and it has 5 contiguous stereocenters as usual for a typical triquinine framework. So, it has cis anti cis configuration and for him the key step is as I said not like the earlier, earlier two synthesis where he has used a thermal metathesis. Here it is a chiron approach and in the chiron approach he started with limonin as a chiral starting material and he also used two key reactions. One is Johnson's ortho ester Kleisen rearrangement, the other one is acid mediated or catalyzed diazo ketone olefin cyclization to get a cyclopropane followed by opening up the cyclopropane to get the fiber bond ring. Okay. Let us see how he did. And this natural product first he wanted to introduce a double bond and a carbonyl group here. So, that he wanted to use as a handle for further disconnection and this molecule can be obtained from acid catalyzed intramolecular federal carbs like cyclization. Okay. So, I will come to that when I talk about this how this reaction took place and this can be obtained from this diol. Okay. So, if you look at this diol one can selectively oxidize the primary alcohol. Once you oxidize this al alcohol will attack and then it will form a lactol that lactol will be oxidized to the corresponding lactone and this can be obtained from the corresponding ketone. Okay. And this is where the first key step that is intramolecular diazo ketone addition to the double bond to get a cyclopropane and the opening of cyclopropane gives a 5 umber ring. And this can be obtained from the second key reaction that is Johnson's ortho ester Kleisen rearrangement that can be obtained from this alcohol which in turn can be obtained from limonin and this process is smooth. Okay, this process is smooth. Let us see how he accomplished this. Before that I just briefly describe the mechanism of Johnson ortho ester Kleisen rearrangement. So, you can take trialkyl ortho acetate. So, for example, if you take trimethyl ortho acetate, if you treat with acid, one of the methoxy group will be protonated and the lone pair on one of the oxygen of methoxy group will push the methanol out. So, you generate an oxonium ion and the allylic alcohol. Okay. So, allylic alcohol normally is required for the Kleisen rearrangement will intermolecularly attack this carbonyl carbon to form this intermediate. So, this again it will undergo loss of another methanol under acidic condition to give this 1,5 diene and that can be redrawn like this and that will undergo 3,3 3 sigma trophic rearrangement which is nothing but Kleisen rearrangement to give this alpha, beta, gamma, delta, gamma, delta unsaturated ester. As you know Kleisen rearrangement will give gamma, delta unsaturated ester, gamma, delta unsaturated aldehyde, gamma, delta unsaturated carboxylic acid. Okay. So, that is the key step and let us see how he prepared the starting material. He started with limonene and selective dihydroxylation of this tri-substituted double bond. Okay, so, you have two double bonds one tri substituted other one is a 1 1 di substituted. So, the tri substituted double bond was epoxidized and then opened with sulfuric acid uh, dilute sulfuric acid to get the corresponding diol and that was cleaved with sodium pyruvate to get the keto aldehyde because if you cleave this you get the corresponding keto aldehyde. Then reduce the double bond so to get the isopropyl group and followed by intramolecular aldol reaction will give you the 5 membered ring with aldehyde. Then simple reduction of the aldehyde with uh, sodium borohydride and cerium chloride that is called Lucia reduction that gives the corresponding allylic alcohol. This allylic alcohol upon Kleisen rearrangement will give you the corresponding gamma delta unsaturated ester. Okay. This gamma delta unsaturated ester can be hydrolyzed to the corresponding carboxylic acid 
Before that, as I said, you do not want the double bond here. The double bond should go inside so that the diacetone can be added to this double bond. So, the migration of the double bond to internal double bond was done under acidic condition that is Lewis acidic condition. Now, hydrolyze the ester to carboxylic acid and that carboxylic acid upon treatment with oxalyl chloride you get the corresponding acid chloride this upon treatment with diisomethane you get the corresponding diisoketone. This diisoketone then on treatment with BF338 undergoes three steps in one part. The first step is the formation of cyclopropanation ok. It undergoes cyclopropanation ok. It undergoes cyclopropanation. Now under this con acidic condition the cyclopropane opens so you get this carbon. Okay. So, in this particular step you can see first the diazo compound form the cyclopropane and then it opened and in the process a quaternary carbon is fixed. Stereochemically quaternary carbon is fixed and also formed a 5 membered ring. Then this 5 carbon unit was added the bromine lithium exchange was done by treating with lithium and it was added to the ketone to get the alcohol. Now, removal of the TBS will give the primary alcohol and the primary alcohol can be oxidized and then cyclized, but you do not need this you need a ketone is not it. So, do a analysis you get a ketone then remove the TBS group when you remove the TBS group that over that time one can separate these two ok. You can see a beta alcohol and alpha alcohol one can separate these two. Now, if you treat with TPOP uh, that is tetra n propyl ammonium peruthanate, NMO, NMO is a co-oxidant and you use catalytic amount of TPOP. So, that will oxidize the primary alcohol to aldehyde and immediately the tertiary alcohol will cyclize to form the lactol and further oxidation gives the corresponding lactone. Okay. So, once you have this lactone, this on treatment with methane sulfonic acid and P2O5. So, what will happen? It will hydrolyze and you will get a corresponding you can see either this double bond or both will undergo intramolecular protal gas like cyclization to give these two tricules. Okay, you can the, the, the only difference is the location of the carbonyl group. Okay. Take the record one, reduce with sodium borohydride methanol. So uh, this is enone, and this is simple cyclopentanone. One can reduce the cyclopentanone to get the alcohol, and now you treat with lithium and liquid ammonia. So what will happen? Lithium and liquid ammonia, the double bond will be reduced, and this carbonyl group also will be reduced. So, you get a diol. This diol upon treatment with acetic anhydride you get the corresponding diacetate. Then he uses the last key reaction where in one step he removes this acetate completely but hydrolyzes only the acetate to get alcohol. How did he do? He did with sodium in HMPA. So, this is a highly regioselective reductive deacetylation. So, the reductive deacetylation takes place here, but at the same time this hydrolyzes only the acetate to give the natural product that is ceratoethanol. So, to summarize if you look at uh, this total synthesis, he started with commercially available R limonene a monoterpene and then in few steps you could convert that limonene into 5 membered ring and then he used two key reactions one is orthoester Claisen rearrangement then acid catalyzed diazoketone olefin cyclization to form a cyclopropane followed by opening of the cyclopropane to construct the third second 5 membered ring and then third 5 membered ring was constructed using acid catalyzed cyclization. Overall it took 14 steps to complete the total synthesis and close to 1 percent overall yield you could 
successfully complete the synthesis. So, we will have one more lecture on uh, synthesis of triquinones. We have already discussed uh, uh, many synthesis of triquinones because if you look at the synthesis of uh, triquinones, there are many ways one can make a 5 membered ring. So, in the next lecture, we will talk about few more methods and then one more total synthesis and complete the total synthesis of triconics. <laughs> <laughs>